Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training session. My name is Mike Riley. I'm the editor and founder of the Journalist Toolbox. Um, today we're going to have a lot of fun uh, with visualizing data uh, for the census uh, without doing any coding. So uh, if you could go to journalisttoolbox.org uh, and on our homepage down the left hand side we have several categories broken down by subjects uh, that you would find in a newsroom uh, that would be of interest to you. Uh, just go to the data visualization and online tools section, which uh, you'll come to right here. Uh, and if you go to that page, you'll see uh, we've got it broken down into several categories, chart and infographic making tools. There's data scraping tools, all kinds of different stuff in here. Um, the first tool we're going to work with today is this Google Public Data Explorer. It's the second one down from the top. Um, and here are the two tools we'll work with, Google Public Data Explorer. Uh, you might want to just Google it because it's a very long web address here, google.com slash public data slash directory. Uh, and then the second tool we're going to use is the Google Earth Engine Time Lapse tool. Um, time Lapse uh, allows you to uh, take a look at an area in the last 34 years uh, and see how it's changed physically, which could be really good public data explorer. We could look at population growth. Uh, and then see how the city or the area physically changes during that time by using Google Earth Engine time lapse. Uh, so if you want, pause the video right now uh, and open up both of these uh, tools on uh, your browser. Uh, and I would uh, encourage just Googling both terms, Google Public Data Explorer and Google Earth Engine time lapses URLs are quite long. All right, uh, if you've uh, opened up the two uh, tools now, Google Public Data Explorer and the Earth Engine Time Lapse tool, we're going to start with uh, the Public Data Explorer. Um, and this tool uh, allows you to search for public data up here. Um, be very careful about vetting any information that you search for and find. Uh, you know, make sure it's uh, not something from Wikipedia that uh, is open source and anyone can edit. Check, you know, the sourcing on the public data, uh, what it's coming from, who's who created it, what their motive is, that type of thing. Um, uh, and down the left hand side here, it links off to some uh, established uh, data sources here. We have Bureau of Labor Statistics, um, some stats on Iceland, Eurostat. Um, the one we're going to work with here is the U.S. Census Bureau data. Um, so if you can, click on this left-hand rail on the little link that says U.S. Census Bureau. And it gives you some data sets that it's linked straight off to right out of the Census website. Um, click on the population one. There's other ones here, too, on income inequality, um, state government finances, and things like that, which can be very handy. But let's click on, click on population to start with. Now that you've gone into the population section here, um, you'll see there's two interfaces. There's a population bar down the left-hand side that gives you several subcategories, everything from birth rates to migration, death rates, and so on. Uh, and then you can break down by state uh, in the little menu down here, and it'll be reflected over here in the work area uh, on the right. So let's select population, the very last one on the list in the upper left menu. Select population, and you'll see that we've select pre it pre-selects the United States. It runs all of the population numbers from the U.S. Census from 1900 all the way up to 2019. We'll start to see 2020 census data in there uh, fairly soon. Uh, you know, latter part of 2020, early part of 2021. Um, if you want to narrow the number of years, if you don't want 1900 to 2019, you want to go 1965, just grab this little tab at the bottom, hold down your cursor, and drag it over. Uh, you'll see it flattens here quite a bit, but it uh, takes you just from 1965 to present. And if you want to embed this uh, into your web page, all you do is click on this little link button in the upper left. It gives you a link and then an iframe embed code that you can embed right into your web page. And the graphics look great in there. Uh, and it will embed to any level that you've set uh, the parameters at in the lower part of the graphic. Uh, so we, we're going to stick uh, with 1900 up through 2019. So we're looking at about 120 years of uh, census data. We're going to uncheck the United States uh, and then just start selecting some various states. Let's do California, Illinois, we'll do New York, will be a good one as well. Um, maybe throw Florida in there too, why not? And this is a fun little project to do with you know, populations of maybe of all your border states in your state. 
uh, you know, and see how uh, the patterns are reflected. You know, you can look at migration rates too there. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but here's uh, the uh, population of all of the states that I've selected here from 1900 to uh, 2019. And you can see, you know, California is beginning to, to you know, uh, almost peak here and drop a little bit. Florida continues to rise. New York uh, has uh, dropped a little bit. Uh, Illinois is really rounding off and dropping. Their popula our population here in Illinois is dropping quite a bit. Uh, again, you can take and embed this, uh, link off to it. Um, be very interesting as we start to get more census data in, uh, all the options that you can do with this. Now, you can do more than just a line graph. Um, you can click over here on the other tabs at the upper right-hand corner. You can do maps. Um, again, with this data, it's not a great bubble uh, uh, chart or bubble map. Um, but let's select the bar chart right next to it, right between the line chart and the map. Now it gets interesting. You've got a bar chart showing the populations of all of these states. If you hit the little animation button here, it starts at 2019. We're going to take it all the way back to 1900. Hit the play button, and it will play through. And you'll watch California race up the charts here. Florida as well. Yeah, they really, it's almost like watching a horse race. California by, you know, the 1950s, 1960s just blows right by New York. Um, Florida continues to climb the list as well. And there we are today. Okay. It also lists all the other states here too that you didn't select, but it assigns the, the colors to the ones that we uh, had. And again, you can embed this uh, nice little animated bar chart right into your web page without doing any coding other than grabbing an iframe or grabbing a link and, and tweeting uh, to it. You can't export video of this, uh, at least not yet. Uh, but you could do a screencast of this. Uh, you use your QuickTime Player screener or Screencast-O-Matic and record this. It could be a nice little uh, GIF or a nice little uh, video that you can attach to a social media post. So uh, the other tool we want to show you here is Earth Engine Time Lapse. Uh, that's this tool right here. This will be helpful for census stories, especially if you've got a lot of urban sprawl. Like if you've seen really big population increases in your area over the last uh, three decades. Um, this is a tool that Google built uh, back in 2016. Uh, it's a partnership with the U.S. Geological Survey, the USGS, NASA, uh, and Carnegie Mellon. Um, it shows you 34 years of satellite imagery from 1984 all the way up to 2019. Or 2018. Uh, we'll soon have 2019 data in here. Um, it's good for uh, stories like environmental stories. You can see this glacier melting away here. Uh, you can see this player down at the bottom playing through. It's got three different speeds for the player. It's got uh, quarter speed, half speed, full speed. Full speed is my default setting for this because you can really see the changes throughout the years it plays through very quickly. Um, very easy to embed this. Just hit the share button in the upper left. It gives you a link and an embed code that zooms in on wherever you're selected on here. You can zoom in, zoom out, you can get it down to around 25 kilometers and get some, some pretty good detail there. The satellite imagery uh, quality does value NASA retest, or a very, uh, NASA retests their satellites back in 2015. Uh, so you see much sharper images in the last five years. So I'll zoom back out here. <clears throat> And in the search bar in the upper left, you can go up there and you can type in a location, just like in Google Maps, just like in regular Google Earth. So I'll type in Las Vegas, Nevada. One of the faster growing cities in the US over the last three decades. I'll zoom out just a tad here. You can really see the population explode here. And, and this is you know, a really good thing you could do a uh, maybe a bar chart or a line chart in Google Flourish or Data Wrapper to show the increase in, in population over the last three decades. But here it shows the physical changes that take place. And notice too over here with Lake Mead, and Vegas does pump a lot of water back into Lake Mead. LA drains some off. Even with a desert climate though, you can see that one's impacting the other here. So um, whether you live in an agricultural area, maybe you, know, you have some urban sprawl and it's affecting the crop patterns around it. Uh, or maybe it's a drain on resources near the city, or you just want to show, you know, what directions the city grew out in or filled in uh, as well. Um, so there's all kinds of different uh, things you can uh, uh, do with this tool. Um, you can, uh, it's a great little time waster. I always show this to my students very late in the semester because they, uh, 
uh, I would spend a lot of time playing around with this, but you know, you go to Dubai and you can really see the uh, city grow up off the water and also grow out on the water with those little uh, man-made islands that they have right off the coast. So uh, we'll zoom in here and show you. Uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Cancun, Mexico, you know, you can see similar growth in, in those types of cities. Uh, anything along a coastline, it's always interesting to watch, or maybe a pipeline's gone in somewhere. But again, it's helpful for the census and that you could show the physical changes uh, to that city. So that's all I had here for the census uh, uh, resources. Two very simple, quick and easy Google tools uh, to help you with Google Public Data Explorer and Earth Engine time lapse to build visuals to complement your census coverage. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.